Todd, good afternoon. How are you today, pal? What do you have for me? Hey, dog. First time caller. Uh, I love your knowledge of sports history, and I am so tired of the New England Patriots. For 16 years, we've had to watch them represent the AFC in the Super Bowl eight times. Ridiculous. But here's my theory. Well, it's not ridiculous. It's stupendous. But, uh, you know, unless you live, again, north of New London, through the um, Outer Banks of Maine, nobody cares. Uh, they are not a national. I know they like to think they are. They are not. They are a local team with a little regionalization, and the rest of us are sick of them. So I totally agree. You may continue. Go ahead. So here's what I'm hoping. Packers of the 60s disappeared for 20 years. The uh, Steelers of the 70s disappeared for 20 years. Cowboys of the 80s disappeared for 15 years. 49ers of the 90s disappeared for 20 years. Can we hope that the New England Patriots of the last two decades will disappear for at least 20 years? Yeah, I, 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 Todd, I, 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 think, I think they will. Um, now, they're not going to disappear anytime soon. They're still going to be good for another year or two, maybe a little longer than that because they still have the quarterback and they still have, obviously, the great head coach. I think uh, you know, they are going to rue the day about losing Garoppolo, so that will be the that will help a little bit. Um, they don't have a quarterback right now on that roster, and Brady is 40, so there is going to come a time where they are going to see some chips. Uh, it's not yet, though. And we got another couple of more years of this before it. It's almost like the Atlanta Braves, you know, with that great pitching. Now, remember, they they didn't win a lot, so he almost kind of laughed at the Braves to a degree. They only won the one title, um, and they led, what, 13, 14 straight divisions. The Patriots are in that way right now. And, you know, again, uh, you can't argue with greatness. They are a stupendous organization. Nobody can argue that. Now, they get breaks. Um, I get that. They've been fortunate. They play in a lousy division. They don't get one out. So there's a lot of truth to any of those things. But the Pats are the Pats. And, they, you know, they are here for a reason under this, uh, in these championship games on a year-in, year-out basis. Mike and San Fran on Mad Dog Unleashed. Michael, good afternoon. Hey, Chris. Um... I've been hearing you moan and groan about Tony Romo all year, and I and I think I've I've, I've listened to you know maybe bits and pieces of his broadcast. I could I cannot listen to him yesterday. He 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 talks too much. The whole you know telling you what the play is before the play happens that is so annoying. I mean I I, he, I guess he like you said he he uh, he attracts a younger audience, but I I can't listen to him. He that's he's tough to take. Uh, I thought he got in the way a little bit yesterday. Uh, I completely, no, he said some good things. I mean, he yeah. says a lot, so he's going to say a couple good things. But he said some good things. But um, what he said about Bortles at the end of the game bothered me because that's not analyzing yeah. the game. I know you want to protect the quarterback, but that's not analyzing the game properly. Uh, yeah. Uh, and everybody, yeah saw, he- everybody saw that Bortles was not going to be able to make a play to win the championship. Everybody saw that. Yeah. And don't pretend, well, he played a great game. No, he didn't. They they scored twenty points. They had six points in the second half. The quarterback did not play a great game. Go ahead. Next. No, no, that that, that was all my point. He's, he's pretty. I I didn't know he was you know that way where he's telling you what the play is. He he kind of just the, 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 I know he's enthusiastic, but. It was a little tough to take. Yeah, I thought so. And they got the Super Bowl next year. Boy, CBS made sure you knew that about 30 times. Next.